Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can use TeamKit for developing a Shopify team. So before we develop our own team from scratch, you have to know the basic idea behind how Liquid works and how teams are going to work. So I will come to my teams here. You know, we, are, we have the debut team as default. So what I'm going to do in this video, I will download this one in my local environment and I will show you how easy it is to bring changes with team uh, in the local environment and teamkit is going to upload that in the server and you will see the changes instantly so if you i assume you watched the previous video where we talk about teamkit and how you can install it so in this video i will talk about some of the comments it has so you will come to the comment here and it will show you all the comments you can go to the team slash then you can say help and it will show you all the help and uh, comments for you and it will just tell you there are some other comments you can have here. You can download, you can deploy, you can use the new. So if I come to the new one here, it is going to create a brand new team for you, which we will do in the future episodes. But for now, what we are going to do is, we are going to download the team. So if I come to the download here, this is how it is going to work. You can see team download, you can specify a file here, which is a liquid file. Or you can download a team, everything you have on that team. So here is how it is going to work. You can see team, get, and it is going to ask for the password and this is going to be the api password i will generate in a minute and you will store as well as your team id and it will download that in your local environment so what i will do is i will come to the desktop here and i will create uh, inside the shop fighters which are all the videos here i will create a folder called dev it is going to be my development environment so everything i will create here i press shift and right click and open the powershell here so the powershell will be open in this directly now what i will do is i'll come here copy this comment here i'll put it in a notepad so why i put it in a notepad so to to change the values here so the password will be set here and the store as well as the theme id which are which team i'm going to download so i'm going to come to the format i think the font size is a little big so i'll bring it to 16 it should be fine and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my store and from here you have to generate an API key to connect to your store for example if you do not have an API key that is going to be a secret key if you don't have it anyone can connect to your store let's say you just specify this is the secret key if this was not here everyone can connect to your store and bring changes so that's why you have to generate a um, um, secret key for your app so you will come to the app here in the navigation and here you will have manage private apps click on that link here it will navigate you to the private apps which we do not have and now I'm going to generate a key for my app so what you can do is you can click on the create a private app here it will ask you your app name for me it is going to be theme div I'm not going to create an app I'm, I just need to get the API and use it. So here you will enter your emergency email address. And if I scroll down here, these are the permission you can give to this API key. For now, if I save it, yes, I understand, create the app. Okay, the emergency email address is required. So I'll say admin at me.com, just for testing. Of course, that is not a valid email. So I'll save it for now. And if you check out, this is the API key for me. I will regenerate this one after I record the video. But for now, and this is going to be the share key. This is the API key, and this is going to be the password. And this is what I need. So you can click on the copy, and you can copy this one. If I scroll down a little bit, these are the uh, permission you can give. If you click on this more link, what I am going to give this password permission there there should be a more permission than this for now if anyone have this password what they can do they can do all this stuff they can only read this data they cannot modify it so i'll come i'll scroll down here here is a theme and template and asset so for this one i'm going to give it read and write access now this api key will have access to read and write to the my teams uh, directory here so i will save it for now if everything saved properly which is looking fine i will copy the secret key from here and i'll paste it here you can see it but i will change it later of course you don't need this one and now what else i need my store here what is the url of my store 
This one is easy. Just grab it from here. It is the store URL you have. You can copy it and you can paste it here. And what is your team ID? I will come back to my uh, online store here. This is my team, right? If you click, if you hover over the customize, at the left side of the page, you will see the team ID here. Or you can click and the customize, and it will give you the team ID. This is the ID for my team. Just copy that one from the URL, come to your team here, and now paste it here. That's all you need. Now I'll copy everything, and now I will paste it in my PowerShell. Why I put it there? So to make it a little clear. Once you put it here, Press enter, now it is going to use your API key and it will find your store and it is going to download your theme here and it will store it in the same directory. If I come here, this is everything I need. So I should have created another folder, but this is what they did. They are downloading all the files I have on my theme. So uh, while it is downloading, I will come to the theme. Here is another option in the theme customizer. You can click on the theme action. Edit code. If you click on edit code, I will show you what is the directory structure for every team. At the time of this recording, the directory, directory structure is restricted. For example, this is all you need. Your team must have a layout folder. Your team must have a template, section, a snippet, asset, config, and locals. This is all the, team, uh, all the folders you need. If you create another folder called test or whatever, that will not be included as part of your team. Like you cannot use that folder at all. So that's why this is the required folder, not the required, the, the folders that you need for now. So if I come to my directory here, I think everything was finished, almost here, 99, 100%, yes. Everything is done. I will open this in my Visual Studio code. So it will open my code editor here. I'll come here, this is all the directory here. But if I come to the code, loading, this is the same directory I have here. Except if I come here, I don't have that config file here. What is this? Config.yml is my configuration. If I open this one, you might notice this stuff. This is the password that I specified. This is the theme ID and this is my store. The other way to download a theme is just create a config.yml file and run a theme download comment. That is how it works. Like it will just go to this store it will grab this theme and it will use this api to connect to that and it will download the theme for you so that's it now you have your theme everything you need on the theme is here so i hope it has been informative in the next video i will show you how you can bring the changes and instantly see the updates on your live store so that's it see you in the next video